Uh, this video today is to highlight um, a recent change we've made to the CTrader risk and reward chart trading tool. Okay, At the moment, when you use this tool, um, it only allows you to add one charting tool for a buy or a sell for a single symbol. So if you want to add um, the tool on euro dollar and you want to do two of them, you, it's not possible. But we've just made a change now to make it possible. So I'm going to give you a demonstration and I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay. Um, so if you're not familiar with the product, you just come to our website, click algo.com, go into trading software. And if you go to uh, trading indicators, it's technical charting tools, you'll find it there. And the product page, you can download a trial version here. You can add it to cart to buy it. Um, there's also another video uh, on YouTube that gives you a full rundown of this tool. But today we're just going to show you how to do the uh, multi-symbol you know, multiple charting tools for the same symbol. Okay. If you are interested, just scroll down the page. It gives you more information. Uh, this is for people that have just purchased it or you're about to purchase it and you want to know if it's possible. Okay. So I've got two charts on the screen. This is Trader, both the Euro dollar, both five minute time charts. Now I'm going to show you how to um, open up charting tools for both of those charts using the same symbol. So what we do is we go to the robots icon and we find the um, risk and reward tool. Add it to the chart. Now, the first thing you'll see is instance name. Um, to make this possible, we've had to add this parameter so that if you're going to do the same symbol, then you need to make sure that each chart has a different instance name. So we're going to leave this one at 001 and we're going to add one onto this chart too. Um, I've got to find it now. Oh, am I going blind? Oh, something like that. All right, I'll just find it now. Risk and reward tool, yeah, I add it onto there. Now for this one, I'm gonna um, call it a different instance name, 002, okay? It's gotta be unique because we're using the same symbol. Okay, now I've got two bots out on the charts. One has got an instance name of 001, and one's got an instance name of 002. They're both for the Euro dollar, they're both for five minute time charts. Um, the reason we're using two charts, this is, this is the only way we could really do it easily, um, but it also allows you to look at your trade setup in a clean view. If you had multiple charting tools on the same chart, it would get very messy, especially if you're going to do 10 of them. So what I'm going to do now is just start this tool and I'm going to open up a long position. OK, this is a market order and I'm going to submit that order. OK, the order has been submitted. Uh, same as before, you can drag the top take profit and it moves the uh, recalculates it for you. OK, if you look at the other chart, it's also showing the position for that chart. Um, so you're going to have a chart with your trading tool on and your chart without your trading tool on. But it shows you the position. Now, what you do is you start this robot. Again, long position. Now we're going to do a different um, setting. We're going to drag the stop loss down there and the take profit to there. OK, different setup. So what we're going to do now is just open that one. Yes. Okay, submitted an order for that now. Now what you've got is two orders submitted, two charting tools. Again, you can move things around on each one. If I wanted to adjust this one, I can move that. It gets adjusted. You see it gets adjusted there, but the actual charting tool doesn't get affected. So this is a method of showing you how to do that. And if you wanted to do that for another chart, you just open up another chart and do the same thing. So you can do one or many um, market orders or pending orders or limit orders. Uh, for the same currency symbol. So this is a way we found to work around it um, and we hope you find that's useful. Thank you very much. I'll just go now. And before I do go, if you do like this video, please give us a thumbs up at the bottom of the uh, YouTube page. Thank you.